This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll explain what the different colored lines mean inside a thumbnail in Final Cut Pro's browser. Jude asks, what do the lines at the top of browser clips mean? And the answer is, these are clip status indicators. If there's a green bar at the top of a clip or a segment of a clip, it indicates that it's a favorite, what we used to call selects. If there's a red bar, it means it's rejected. We don't want to use that clip or that portion of a clip. A gold bar at the bottom indicates a clip that is currently used in the active timeline. If you have multiple projects inside a single Final Cut library, only the project which is active and open in the timeline will display gold bars. If it's a pale blue bar, it means that we've applied keywords, in this case, polar bear or mammal. And if it's a purple bar, it means that we've analyzed it. We've analyzed it in terms of color, and we've analyzed it in terms of people. Is it a two-shot, a wide shot, a close-up? As soon as that analysis is done, the purple bar appears. Let me show you how this works inside Final Cut. Here, for instance, I've got a great blue hair, and notice that I've marked a range up for it. If I type the letter F, notice there's now a green bar that appears at the top of the clip. This indicates that it's a favorite. If I switch this menu to display favorites, only those portions of clips that have been flagged as a favorite, selected and type the letter F, appear. Or if I see all clips, I can see both the favorite portion and the unfavorited portion. To unfavorite a clip, type the letter U, and now it's unfavorited. F to favorite, U to unfavorite. Another thing we can do is hit the delete key. When we press the delete key, notice this red bar appears. That means that we're not interested in this clip. It's been rejected. The default setting for this menu is to hide rejected clips, and this gets rid of all clips which we've pressed the delete key for. Well, in this case, I want to see it again, so we'll say all clips. To undelete it, press the U key. So F to favorite and U to unfavorite. Delete key to reject and U to unreject. When I edit a clip into the timeline, down here, notice that now a gold bar appears. That indicates that the clip is, that portion of the clip is active inside the timeline. This indicator is off by default. You turn it on by going to the View menu, go down to Browser, and make sure that Used Media Ranges is turned on. Again, it's turned off by default. If I apply a keyword to it, for instance, Command K to open up the keyword dialog, or click this key icon here, and apply, say, a keyword of Heron, Notice the keyword shows up here as a keyword collection, and a blue bar appears across the top, indicating that this is now a keyworded portion of the clip, and just that would show up if you click on Heron. See, we see just that portion of the clip, whereas when we select Media, we see the entire clip. One more setting we can do is if we Control-click on a clip and say Analyze and Fix. If we select, we'll close the keywords, if we select balance color or find people, which are two settings that I almost never use because I don't particularly like them, this will then add a purple bar to the clip indicating that it's been analyzed. In my case, I prefer not to do those, so I'll just say cancel. So that's what the bars indicate, favorite, rejected, used, keyworded, and analyzed. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 321. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.